time to the old lady. Old lady? Hello? Yes, this is Los Angeles 911 operator 856. A 911 call was traced back to this phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Ma'am, does this phone belong to a Tiffany McCall? Yes. We received a 911 call from your phone indicating an elderly woman had been injured on Chester Road. Christopher John McCall. Mom! Don't mom me! Get your narrow butt out of the shower, now! What's wrong, Mom? Maybe you want to tell me what's wrong. In the living room, now! Chelsea, out. CJ, what were you thinking? You know better. We wanted to help Michael. Help Michael? What are you, the LAPD now? Everybody knows she's a witch. She already turned Bobby Olive into a Rottweiler. A, a Rottweiler? Uh, are you on drugs? No. Do you realize? That if you had not called 911, that old woman would still be on the floor now? And a witch? What if somebody judged you because of the color of your skin? Or because of the way you talk? Or the clothes you wear? You know what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? Get out of my face. But this ain't over. I'm gonna call you daddy right now. I want the names of every kid involved. You can forget about playing a video game for a month. And that homecoming game, you can definitely forget about playing in that. Give me the Mac now. All things considered, you kids are extremely lucky Miss Baptiste wasn't seriously injured. That stunt could have caused us, your parents, and you some serious trouble. <laughs> CJ, Luke. What are three things that Coach Harris has told you you will remember for the rest of your life? Choices, decisions, and consequences. Exactly. And because of that poor decision making, you will now have to suffer the consequences of your actions. First, CJ, Luke, Ashley. You are suspended from participating in all football or cheer practices or games for the next two weeks, including homecoming. Jen? Unfortunately, you're gonna have to forfeit that homecoming crown. And Mr. Lee? You are no longer the editor for the school yearbook. And all five of you will have to report to detention for the next two weeks. NFW. No freaking way, hello? some good news will come from this. After sitting with your parents, we've decided that all five of you will volunteer twice a month at the Tarzana Home for Seniors, since you have a thing for older people. And for the remainder of the entire school year, you will create, design, publish, and distribute a community and school newspaper from your new office.
If I'm not mistaken, it was your mastermind idea. So shut your trap, and let's get this done. He's right, it was your idea. We can't get it, can we? Kid Edition, that's it. That's gonna be the name of our paper. It's our edition of the news in our community and school. Get it? Kid Edition. I like it. You'd like it if you said the goat's butt journal. <laughs> no, seriously, CJ, that's cool. Not bad for a slow wide receiver with average hands. <laughs> Guys, I don't mean to sound stupid, but wood paper. I didn't even know we had a paper due Monday. I have an idea. Okay, you guys get up against the wall, pose however you want, and leave a spot for me. Oh. Ash! Erin, can you make a silhouette out of this pick? No problem. All right. Here, plug this in. Uh, give me that. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 